So this is the MSI Clutch GM10 and this is a very, very standard, not even RGB mouse. But you do have, um, if I click the DPI wheel, so you've got 800 and 1000 as default and then you've got 1600 and what's the other one? 2400. You can change the difference of colours, well not the colours, you're changing obviously the DPI speed. There's no software driven for this, it's just you plug it straight in via USB and use it like that. It's got clicky, uh, about, apparently up to 10 million clicks that you can get out of it. Um, it feels okay, it's just got a breathing logo of the dragon on there which is MSI's normal golden standard red dragon and it's got its optical out on the bottom there and uh, glide feet there and the glide feet there but these are quite big glide feet nothing like definitely special quite bulky can't take out the micro usb or anything like that uh, quite smooth it does feel quite light lighter than what i would normally use but it just feels more bulkier um it does say though led light red dragon led oh will four colors right okay so that's right 1.8 cable can work with um, like computers that have got USB inputs but it recommends obviously Windows XP Vista Windows 8 Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 so I don't know why Mac's not on there it weighs 104 grams I thought it actually weighed more than that and you've got response time of one minute second and it's got four buttons one two three and then click it down four anyway there's no software, oh my god. There's no software on there at all, so that's how you use it. Well, let's give it a quick go with PUBG and see what I think about it. Uh, let's go. And also, I've got it paired up with uh, the MSI GK40 as well. Mystic Light RGB keyboard, which complements it pretty well. Fat against fat, might as well. Right, what DPI have I got it on? Slow, fast up, fast, very fast. There, let's have it on that speed. Purple is my highest DPI at the moment, so at 2400. <laughs> So, I don't believe the mouse has got a problem. It's actually okay, the DPI is okay, it's quite responsive. Um, it felt like a very high, like, like if you paid a premium for a mouse, it felt premium, but it only felt premium in the speed, like the sensor, so it felt like active, like the frame rates per second was gubbing, the increments like pixels per inch on the screen, it felt nice like that. But um, obviously it's a lot more different. You pay for design, you pay for the ergonomics as well and you pay for like what the weight would be like so it's perfect in the hand now i've got medium to large hands and this fits really nice in the hand but it is still quite thick but if you want a chunky uh, keyboard and a chunky mouse look no further than the gm10 and then obviously the gk40 or vigo gk40 anyway links in in the video somewhere where you can have a look at that keyboard and obviously this is the review of the gm10 so if you like this review thought it was helpful drop us a like subscribe share follow us on facebook instagram and all that sort of stuff and i'll see you next one thanks for watching roger and out